Oh, that's a different type of skelly. Oh, that's not the type of skelly I'm used to seeing. It's my first ever kill with one of these, if I can kill it. Yes! New mob, first kill ever. Wow. Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner, and how are you doing today? Today we are starting a new series called Hardcore. That's right, I am going to play Survival Hardcore Minecraft, and this series will end when I die. So the first time I die, bye-bye series, because we can't re regenerate. We When we die, that's it. Kind of like real life if you don't believe in reincarnation and all that great stuff. So... Let me show you how I have this set up. I got the game mode Hardcore. I'm naming the world Hardcore. More world options. I am doing large biomes because I think that might be a little bit more difficult. And I'm going to use my name as the world seed. Um, this is 1.1.0, 1 1.10. Um, I did try this before and audio was messed up on the first episode so i scrapped the whole thing and i'll say it was in 1.9.4 and i used my name as the world generator and i ended up in the middle of a huge extreme hills so maybe hopefully in 1.10 i will end up someplace else so let's get the ball rolling and create the new world so hopefully i am not in the extreme hills but we will see in one minute so like I said, if I die once, that is it. Series is over, and I am not in an extreme hills. Oh, there we go. So um, <laughs> we got reeds, reeds. We can get books. We can, we can eat apples. That's actually not that bad, um, because basically, um. Unlike UHC, I will regenerate health. So if my food bar is up and I get damaged, I will regenerate my health. It's not ultra hardcore in that sense where I need to I eat enough golden apples, but once I die, that is it. So, yeah. Uh, and obviously, I guess if you use your name and hey, look at that, take an inventory. Um, as a world seed and different versions it will put you in a different area so like i said last time i did this i ended up in a extreme hills and yeah well i love extreme hills but there was no <laughs> it was large biomes and there was no um trees around so i had to spend my first five minutes looking for a tree so i can get some wood really you gonna give me andesite no 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 no. that's what we need right here oh no those Tress. So now we can get a real pickaxe and get some more wood and then um, also get some more of cobble or whatever so I can make a whole bunch of stuff. And then we can get more wood and then we're going to go get iron. Actually, we're going to get food. Excuse me. And then we're going to go get iron, and hopefully by the 20 minutes that this episode is done, I will have enough iron to be covered head to toe with iron armor and iron tools and iron up the yin-yang. Okay, we got my 32, so that that is my goal even when I play UHCs, um, 32 cobble. We're just going to make, hmm, let's see, what are we going to make? We're going to make one more pickaxe, we're going to make a shovel, we're going to make a axe, we're going to make a, yeah, we'll just do one sword right now. I don't need two swords. So, usually, in, in the if I were to do this series from, like, if I was going to keep doing this for a long channel series, I would keep that there. Uh, it's just so I know where my spawn was, and you know, it's just an interesting artifact, but I don't plan on living in this world for more than three or four episodes, so I don't think I'm going to worry about that too much. Let's bring this down so I know where things are, just in case I get ambushed, 
I can protect myself. That's right, singing Minecraft. I, I still have the habit of saying, trying to say Minecraft instead of Minecraft because I found. Well, I don't know. I have a hard time saying Minecraft compared to Minecraft. Oh, and we are playing with Optifine. And the cool thing with this new Optifine, and I'll show it to you as soon as I get the ability to do it, which will be when I get coal, is that there is a light setting in this Optifine that, um, just a couple more pieces of wood, then we're going to go get some food and go underground. But there's a light setting that if you're holding fire somehow, or you shoot a burning arrow, uh, you're standing, um, you got a torch in your hand that it lights the area up around you just like the mods okay we'll take it just in case we don't want to be too wasteful and as you notice there um, no spacebar auto jump and I've been playing with auto jump for a couple of weeks no nah, nah, maybe not that long it just feels that long and um, it's okay <gasps> Oh, there we go. Polar bear. That's my first ever polar bear on 1.10. And I'd love to go play, but I'm playing hardcore right now. And I don't want to die. Just yet. We'll play with you in future episodes. Let's hope there's stuff down here worthy of getting this Definitely, Jesus. Do not like the auto jump feature at all in this situation. Oh, you know, screw the caves. I need food. I really need food. So, screw you, cave. <laughs> what do you want to call it? Um, smartness comes over my brain and says, Hey, before you go underground for the night, hi, guy. Well, I could kill him and get some fish, but I don't want to kill him and get some fish. Uh, I don't want to kill little polar bears. More polar bears. Hmm. Hmm. I hope you don't get too aggravated with me running by. I need some real food, not polar bears. Well, Go and see these woods and find some food. Um, you may notice my throat might be a little off. I had surgery a couple of months ago and I had some massive um, setbacks from the surgery that made me very nauseated. And I've spent most of my last few days doing things that a body shouldn't be doing, which um, has put a strain on my voice. So, uh, bear with me. I'm going to grab these mushrooms just in case. Oh, pigs. Here we go. First real food. Sorry, piggy piggy. My cats are fighting with each other again. I want some more pigs. Oh, I see pigs in the background. Good, so we can get this done. I can't sprint anymore. I'm going to need to make a uh, furnace real quick. And it looks like there's a bunch of pigs here. Oh, come on. I can't. Is that your new method of defense is hiding in trees? Hmm. Don't like that. I thought I heard maybe a polar bear. Oh, we got some coal up there too, so. Excellent. And I can show you that thing about Optifine that I wanted to show you. I got, let's, 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 uh, let's, 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 uh, get some words to my mouth. Let's, let's, let's. Let's make a furnace. Let's put that there. We don't want to throw all of that wood in there. So where is that? That's up there. Let's get some of this. 
hopefully, okay, I was gonna say, hopefully it's more than just one. We got two, three, ooh. Ooh, three. Let's throw one of these in there. Let's go and get some more food. <clears throat> then we can go underground. Oh man. I'm not 100% sure I'm actually going to make it to work today. That's where we're going to go down. Um, my stomach... Yeah, my stomach is still messed up. Oh, see look. When you hold the torch. Isn't that awesome? So, take torch away. Hold torch. Take... That is lovely I I I'm just at a loss of words for that one. so yeah we're gonna be getting some coal everybody loves it when people get coal on Minecraft series but at this stage of the game it's very important so you're gonna have to suffer through it I'm really sorry I wish I could do something to help you out more but you're gonna have to just watch me get some coal that's okay. Oh, more coal. Yay. There we go. Um. Yeah, there's, um. Somebody named Jan on Hypermine who started her hardcore season. And she's a, a derpy player. She doesn't. Um. She's not a, the best Minecraft player out there and that's what makes her series so good saying so, it kind of gave me the idea to do this series not that I'm a derpy player per se but I've just never done this really and I thought it would be a good good uh, thing to do we're gonna get rid of that it's getting night so we're gonna go down and get things done for the night Hopefully by the time morning comes around, I will have myself a merry, merry Christmas, um, plenty of iron covered in iron stuff. Let's go. Let's go get the irons. Come on. I'm still going to keep the... Um, the auto jump on, which is the reason why you see me doing these things like that. Hi, Creeper Creeper. This could be the end of my series right here. Now, if one sneaks up behind me while I'm doing this, dead. I even died the other day with my full armor on in my regular series because Creepers, because I don't have blast protection on anything. Which is kind of stupid. But. <clears throat> Die, guys. Really? These guys worry me. Oh, look at that. Because, um, they can mess you up. You know, if you've played Minecraft, you know, skeletons nowadays are a little, little overboard in their abilities they're dangerous dangerous well looks like we got a nice good old mine shaft to get after and more stuff I don't want to go down because there's a skeleton right there and I don't want to die just yet and looks like there's mobs over there. Can I go any farther this way? I don't think so. We need to get some iron to get stuff going. Jeez. What a waste of time so far. Still gonna get some coal. Because I've used it all already. For torches and stuff. Blank. So people have been asking me about my texture pack lately. Um. 
for those who don't know, it's just basically Faithful 32, and I added some specific um, changes to it, like the torches you see are way different than most torches that you see, and that's um, based on a pack I saw a guy named Slind, who does Twitch every day on, um, basically every day, he streams, and he's got, he does palaces and amazing builds like that and he likes these torches because they look more majestic and better for his castles and kingdoms and I really like his torches and his pointer in the middle that squiggly line that was part of his texture pack too so I basically try almost recreated his texture pack using some changes that I came up specifically for me like the rainbow thing I've seen other people use a rainbow and I'm like Ooh, I'd like the rainbow XP bar so we went with that and let's just see what we got going on here okay I'm gonna actually let, we can leave this as my main place I'm gonna take half of these this coal Oops. so we've made it back to where I came down and it looks like there's no place to go except for up <laughs> We're gonna have to go into that um, that ravine. Yeah. Oh man, I'm not doing good in this one. Sorry, right. there's only five minutes left in this episode. In the first episode, I did that. I lost my audio. I was full geared. That's kind of a shame. So guess what? We're going down into the um. The mine shaft. Let me get a couple of pieces. Where, where are you? Where's my iron? Hmm. Hmm. Huh. I thought. It, no. Okay. Right, wait a second. Where did I put my iron? Oh, it's up over here. Okay. I hear something growling really quietly in my left ear. Okay. It's only a zombie. Okay, we got our first piece of armor. Now let's go find that. <clears throat> that. Uh, ravine. Wow. Words in the morning. Ravine. Ravine. Where are you, Ravine? Here's a ravine. So what's the best way to get down there? Looks like if I jump now, I should be okay. So guess what? Even though this is hardcore. And I hope I don't get shot off. Is this a double ravine? There's a creeper. Nope, didn't make that. I'm gonna take care of you, Creeper. <clears throat> yeah. He even lights up when he's like ignited. That's kind of cool. Excellent. We got plenty of coal here. I can get these four pieces of iron. No, only two. Oh man. But at least there's iron up there. Um, let's get some uh, more light on this subject don't really want to go down looks like uh, looks like there's not a double torch placement looks like there's not much down there let's go to the other side of the ravine there's some iron right there basically I am still trying to get ironed up Now, I'm happy with the helmet piece, but I'm not happy with everything else. Good. We got some iron now. Whoops. One more. Oh.
I hear you. I see you. I'm gonna kill these bats. Jeez, jeez. More iron. Yes. Is this the four I was looking for? Two. Three. And the four. Yes. I'm surprised. This uh, hardcore mode automatically puts it on hard, doesn't it? So, why aren't I... You know, struggling more. I mean, I'm glad I'm not, but I would figure that this would be harder. It looks like after I grab this iron and the iron I pass back there, that, um, ooh, look at this. I'm gonna have enough to put on an iron armor suit and I can relax a little bit and start worrying about food and then go into the next level which is enchantment table and a chance to make myself as good as I can possibly be. Everything got so let's head um, I got 31 iron yeah let's go back and get this stuff all cooked up let's see can I get out this way I hope maybe no I'm just gonna slowly break this block. I hate this. And there's gonna be a zombie waiting for me, right? Come on, don't, don't. All right. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> I hate doing that in water. So, let's go back. Hey, Skelly. Oh, that's a different type of Skelly. Oh. That's not the type of skelly I'm used to seeing. It's my first ever kill with one of these, if I can kill it. Yes! New mob, first kill ever. Wow. He actually went down a lot easier than I thought, but do I have... Yeah, I do have slowness. Quite crazy there. Crazy like a lemon. Crazy like a lemon. Don't know if I've ever heard that saying before. We're gonna put another one of these up there. We're gonna steal half of your torches and half of your stuff and throw you up there. And that's right. Now we're calling this episode now. I'm not ironed up, but I do have the iron that I need in there. So next time when I when episode number two of Hardcore comes out, you will see me with iron clothes on, probably standing right next to this. If you enjoy the fact of this series, please like, uh, subscribe, tell your friends about it, and let me know what you want to see. Uh, any challenge type series or anything like that. I might throw some challenges in here, so we'll see what uh, happens in the future. But this particular Hardcore mold mode series, I'm going to basically do straight other than the extra, bi extra large biomes. The next one we can do um, challenges inside the hardcore series, whatever those challenges may be. But right now, have a great day. It's Keith from KMA's Corner. Thank you for watching. Hope you like the series. Goodbye.